Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist, and bringing you some information, affirmation, and health and healing uh, information, education, and yes, sometimes humor. Today I'm going to be talking about an email that I got. And by the way, thank you very much for all of you subscribing to our YouTube and the emails and the texts and messages that I've been receiving. So this email was uh, asking me questions about weight loss because she's overweight, but she is uh, on insulin. And yes, did you know that uh, hypnosis is one of the most beneficial ways and um, effortless, natural way for you to lose the weight? And today I'm going to be talking about diabetes and weight and how I, as a hypnotherapist, can help you reduce not only your weight, but stress. So let's delve into this. Um, first of all, uh, of course, I'm going to be talking about what is diabetes and especially type 2 diabetes because the chronic condition that affects the body for diabetes is the processed blood sugar. So I have friends who are um, taking insulin shots and everything and um, both of them, they give themselves the insulin shots. So I have um, I have been around many of my friends who are not only struggling with this type of uh, chronic issue, but also few of ours who I can help reduce the stress and the symptoms. Here's how, because it's a chronic condition is that just in the US, it affects more than 200,000 people, actually cases. There has been reported uh, that with type two diabetes, the, bl uh, the body either doesn't produce enough insulin or it resists the insulin that it's supposed to produce. So when that happens, what happens? You feel thirsty, you go and have a frequent urination. Um, there is this constant hunger. It's like you constantly need sugar or hungry for something. And most people hit fatigue. Um, it affects the uh, vision also, and it can become very blurry. So what are the treatments? Number one, diet, the way you eat, the way your uh, the way you exercise, if you do enough walks in your day, uh, meditation, and then yes, the last thing is insulin therapy. So as I said, more than 200,000 cases have been reported in the US. It's, it's a treatment that it needs a medical professional and diagnosis, um, but also helps for you to do uh, mindful walks, uh, mindfulness, meditation, yoga, any and all things that it's calming the mind and body together. So here is, I'm going to be talking about how hypnosis can help and some other treatments that I'm sure either you or someone you know with diabetes is going through and those are the things that, of course, we are looking for um, to helping. First of all, as your expert hypnotherapist, you know hypnosis is a very natural way of going into a state of relaxation. Not only you go into that state of calm and relaxation, where I also teach my clients how to do self-hypnosis, right? Because you can do hypnosis and listen to hypnotic suggestions and do this on your own in the comfort of your home. And of course, when you come to me 
and we do the hypnosis is delving deeper into the subconscious that if there are any limitations or blocks or things that you cannot tap into on your own we help you release or let go right so first of all hypnosis can calm you it can calm you to a level that decreases the blood sugar level Hmm. the same way as I help my clients with bringing their blood pressure down it's bringing it down down calm relaxed and going to a state of calmness and bringing anything that rises down you can do this with not only hypnosis but guided imagery any and all times even thinking not only a seesaw but a scale when you put something heavy on this side which is going into a state of relaxation you go down into a state of deep relaxation going into that zone hypnosis reduces stress factor which by all means affects not only blood sugar blood pressure right so in responding to which helps you respond to stressors in your life uh, affecting you such as sadness hopelessness anger anxiety any of those that are suppressed and you have not worked through them affect you not only emotionally mentally and affects your body remember every thought affects your body and when your body reacts your emotions rise and when your emotions come to play your mind starts going into mostly the negative it becomes hyper and you start worrying and you start thinking the negative that's why when I work with my clients I take them from pain to gain right so as you know sugar is your body's main source of immediate energy natural sugar right and cortisol when it rises the sugar levels that come up gives your body energy during during your normal days right but unfortunately people with diabetes especially type 2 the body is not uh, producing this cortisol and it doesn't utilize the sugar in a proper way so it need it needs help in order for this to work now how does hypnosis work first of all as I say we calm you we help you feel calm and the body feels in a natural way which decreases the blood sugar level okay through hypnosis you can also reduce your stress and in a way that you respond to certain events such as anxiety in a better way it helps you promote a better lifestyle a lifestyle that improves not only uh, controls your blood level of sugar maintaining a healthy diet uh, it gives you the desire to live healthier fuller more joyful but also wanting to go and do the exercise and sleeping better hypnosis takes you from pure awareness consciousness to a state of relaxation and it's from that state from beta state that you go into sleep state right and here's another thing that hypnosis can help hypnotherapy helps with clients who are afraid afraid of not only what's going to happen to me about their life and everything but afraid of needles right because if you get to the point that you have to the insulin hopefully I help you manage your blood levels your blood sugar your calmness your anxieties in every aspect 
so it doesn't get to that chronic level. And if you are there, some have fear of the needles. They have anxiety even uh, injecting the needle themselves. So that administrating the insulin or checking their blood sugar is something that they don't want to do or afraid of or get anxiety just for doing that. And for that, hypnosis is the number one to take that fear factor away and gives you a sense that you are in total control. And yes, you can do it on your own. And when you learn how to do hypnosis, um, taking that fear away, also, there is no pain factor. We bypass the pain and you know how to manage pain. So lastly, why I'm talking about this is because of the email that I received. It's about weight loss. Folks with diabetes, their doctor will say the first thing is eat healthy and drop the weight. Most folks who have diabetes are overweight and I'm not talking about obesity. The number one thing hypnosis can help is works with your subconscious level, not to desire, and actually sometimes even take the pleasure of having that much food away. And I'm gonna be talking about certain aspect that um, guides that of course, if anyone is in um, going and having a medical doctor or a healthcare professional help them, they already know this. But again, number for type two diabetes, weight loss can lead to improvement, even cure the, con not cure, ease the condition. It's not cure, um, but it can go into dormancy. You can feel healthier, you can feel better, you can feel calm and manage everything that perhaps you won't hit, hit, hit the type two diabetes. So the hypnotic suggestions that I use and I work with with my clients is how to drop the weight. And yes, as you know, um, I help you peel away not only the anxieties, the emotional weight, peeling away uh, weight that has been weighing you down. And it's, yes, although it's showed up on your body physically, but you know you've done all the exercises, the yo-yo diets that you've done, managing everything, and yet that inner hunger or you gaining the weight back is emotional pain and trauma. And unless you don't take care of that, unless you have not addressed the emotional and mental pain or trauma or the pain that affected you and affects your stress level, the body weight is not going to come down. So again, hypnosis is the number way that I work with my clients that that's why my books stand up to slim down why stand up to slim down because unless you're not standing up for yourself standing up and managing and controlling what was and embracing the reality today you're not going to evolve to that level that you want so the suggestions that we do it's not how to lose weight but have the body become the weight, the right size for your body, the right size for you. And if the right size for you is 130 and that's what you need to be, you can't be telling yourself, I need to lose weight and be 105, right? Because the body will reject it and you will be at the level of 160. And that's the constant yo-yo that people do. So it's a better way because the suggestions and expressing a desire 
to lose the weight, which I call drop weight, not losing. Losing is negative. Losing is sad. Losing is, oh my God, I've lost it and I want it back. So as you see, I also educate my client. I educate you in how you speak to your body, why the body has gone through all this to get to the level of needing the injections and how you lost yourself and you were not paying attention to your health and what was more important than you. And that is why we're standing up for you. Not only how you stand up for yourself, but how I hold space for you and stand by you for you to become healthier, for you to drop the weight, for you how you speak about yourself. So every aspect, that's how I work with my clients. And if you or someone you know needs to drop the weight and become more in tune with their body for a healthier lifestyle, for a healthier being, by all means. I'm here for you. Finally, it's working with the subconscious mind, identifying and addressing the stress factors in your life so that you can release all the things that were initially contributing to the unhealthy eating patterns that created all this. Because no matter what happens, it is up to you to first pay attention to your health, your wellness, and yes, joy. So as you know, become aware of the food that you eat, healthy eating. Uh, learn about um, not only balancing and planning your food ahead, get to know the plate method. I talk to my clients when they come in for weight loss about the plate method. It's plate method. It's how much you have on the plate, what needs to be on the plate, the colors on the plate become more pleasing and appetite, okay, and less fat on the plate, limiting your sugar intake, exercising, walking, mindful walks, and the walks that I do on the path every single morning going in there, and of course, you know, folks with diabetes, they always have to have something sweet and sugary. And when you put that in your mouth, savor it. Let your mind, let your body, and let all your emotions realize, I'm taking this into my body and putting it on my tongue and savoring this. And you don't have to finish it all mindful eating is also how much you take and the moment it goes yes it increases it brings your blood sugar up but the last bite does not have to be yours and make sure that uh, alcohol intake goes to almost zero and again stress level coping with stress managing with stress to a point that stress is no longer uh, affecting you physically, mentally, and emotionally. That's where I come in. Dealing with your stress factor, your pain factor, your weight factor, and yes, putting a smile on your face and having a healthier, humorous, happier life. Hi, Rubina John. How are you? Hi, Dr. Ani. Are you back from your vacation? I hope this message was beneficial to you and some of your friends or clients. And Rose John, I'm always here for you. Thank you for being here. As always, this is Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist and a women's health expert. Um, by all means, if there is any questions, just like this uh, client who messaged me about having a diabetes and how to manage weight. And uh, yes, she became a client. And thank you for all of you and the testimonials. And yes, 
referring clients to me. Um, by all means, watch out, not watch out, but stay tuned. February is going to be amazing. Not only I'm celebrating my birthday, but we are birthing so many things. Talk to you soon. I look forward to be of help to you and see you next week. God bless you. Share, subscribe, and like. Um, have an amazing day. God bless you and may the universal light surround you always. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.